Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts. This time around, back to prove your might. One of the more difficult missions. The Battle Cruiser is a versatile ship, which is especially effective against cruisers and smaller vessels, ideal for raiding at distant waters. Protecting convoys is another role that it can fulfill, but not easily when it has to confront a battleship. This is the situation you will face, because you have to protect our military convoy ships that is... What? Our military convoy ships? Uh, okay, whatever. We have to protect the military convoy from the most powerful warships of the German Navy and three strong heavy cruisers. The victory can be claimed either by sinking the enemy battleship or by destroying the majority of enemy forces. One of our battleships might succeed in reaching you soon enough to help you. Hopefully. So, a battle cruiser. To the uh, tune of 70 million, that's capable of taking on a battleship and a couple of heavy cruisers. I need to keep my battle cruiser alive and keep 70% of my forces alive. Let's see. I'm going to go with main guns and fire control and try to build, I think, a sniper build-ish. Seeing if that'll work. I already had a couple of designs, but that was from long, long ago. Um, biggest ship that we can, 50,000 tons. Okay, all the bulkheads, medium requirement for range. Um, yeah, long range accuracy. I'm thinking ABC turret lineup. That way I should have plenty of firepower and I can slowly but steadily angle away from the enemy. Well, provided that they're going to allow me to do just that. They might not. Um, by that I mean that I'm going to have to intercept them in order to take down the battleship and cruisers before they hit the convoy. So this is not going to be an easy mission. Guns-wise, we got 17s at Mark 3, 18s at Mark 1. Let's go for 17s. And these 17s, yeah, they'll take up quite a bit of space. But it should be doable. If I shift this forward, can I sit a 17 down on the stern? Because that would save me a barbette. You, sit over there. Yes, that works. Unfortunately, now I might struggle with getting the turret up in front. Well, at least both of the turrets. So I would go like that. Yeah, this is not going to fit. Or at least not easily. Standard. Ah. It's too big. Alright, in that case, standard superimposed barbette. Oh, hold on. Enormous. No, the huge superimposed barbette should be big enough. Sit. And then this one shifts all the way back. And then we go with a similar setup over there. I just try to slug it out with the battleship with 17-inch guns. Pricing, not too bad. But I have yet to upgrade many parts. And that's going to cost me. Also, preferably diesels, but they haven't been invented yet. Auxiliary engines. Let's go for oil for a... Well... Do I need that? It's going to reduce my tonnage. But increase my price by 4 million. Let's go for semi-oil as a semi-solution, semi if you will. Engine efficiency currently 26%. 73%. That's better. 100% engine efficiency. I think... Famous last words. I think that I will not need torpedo protection. It really depends on what sort of heavy cruisers they build, and, to some extent, the battleship. Because they, too, can have some very dangerous weaponry in the form of torpedoes. <sighs> Weight really <laughs> is a problem on this ship. Um, since money is not, I'm going to go with that. How am I going to fix this? Because I still have to fit a rangefinder and the radar. Uh, yeah, we're already 2,000 tons over budget or over maximum tonnage. 
If I want to go with heavy shells. Now it's also too expensive. A fairly simple solution is to drop the speed to ensure that I don't have to bring engines that can propel the ship at huge speeds. But I also make myself more fragile. Dropping bulkheads to many I find risky because it might mean that if I take a hit the damage will be more extensive. And let's be honest I will get hit. Uh, I'm going to run with very little belt and very little belt extended armor to the benefit of deck armor. But that's not going to fool anyone, is it? This is the problem with the battle cruiser. They cannot take a hit. And it's a big ship, but it doesn't really give you that much tonnage to play around with to put armor on. I'm not entirely happy with this ship. But let's see how the Battlecruiser Tiger is going to do. Here we go. My Battlecruiser and two destroyers are going to be the first line of defense against the German battleship and their heavy cruisers. There is a battleship on the way, but when it'll get here, I don't know. Usually it takes forever. Uh, here's the Montagu. <laughs> 77 kilometers out. Good luck. Yes. I have not spotted the enemy, but I know they're north of me. I have a couple of destroyers, the Woodpecker and the Blackwater. These are packing limited torpedoes. Oh, that's enough for one salvo. Oh no. They're not terribly quick. The torpedoes themselves are quick. But I'm very concerned about the longevity of this destroyer. In order to make these work, 6 kilometer range, you have to be so close to the enemy. That is uncomfortable. And then all my transports. I'm 6 kilometers out. Let's turn away. I'm oh, sorry, turn back towards the transports. Whoa! Calm down. Maybe not turn back towards the transports. I just need to get the woodpecker and the blackwater out there to try and spot the enemy. Because apparently my radar is not going to cut it. Now I know that the 17 inchers are not ideal against heavy cruisers. But trust me, if they hit, they will deal damage. So while they might not be as efficient as 8s or 9s, they will definitely be dealing damage. The German warship has been detected. It is not coming towards me. This is a ship with six 16-inch guns. That is actually not too bad. Not that I can tank shells from 16-inchers, not by a long shot. But at least they're not 20s, and at least there aren't too many of them. They seem to have elected a build where the main superstructure is pretty far towards the stern. Lots of smaller guns in the form of 3-inchers. And a couple of eights, that would be those two, on the bow to assist in killing, well, anything that gets too close. Um, right. Three inchers. Four inchers can hit out to eight kilometers. So three inchers are even more dangerous. What I do have to my advantage is that the enemy battleship is not coming for my convoy. Yet. Yet. I'm really hoping to keep it that way. Now I have to sink their battleship in the next five hours. The Montagu, with her 18 inches, only mark once. Um, the Montagu is coming my way, but at 26 knots, over 77 kilometers, it's going to take her about two hours before she gets here. So I really don't have to rely on her too much. Because she'll simply not make it. Now I want to have the DDs move sort of perpendicular. Like alongside or parallel. I keep messing those up. I want to have them parallel to the Tiger. To ensure that they can keep an eye on the fleet. But not really do too much beyond that. 
Nice damage on the warship there. Unfortunately, the flooding was very quickly stopped. So this tells me something about their bulkheads. They have quite a few. The funnel layout on the ship looks a little weird. I would have actually preferred if that second funnel could sit on the secondary tower. Looks a little bit too concentrated this way. But okay. Prepare to fire. Fire when ready. Bow turrets? Anyone? No? Why not? If they're elevated, they're loaded. Why are we not opening fire? Hmm. Current range, 23 kilometers. I can afford to get a little closer, but this glass cannon of mine is going to be, well, not great at taking hits, putting it mildly. If she gets hit, I'm going to start taking a lot of damage. I have spotted their heavy cruisers, and they're fortunately moving away. Let's see. To you, relative to the convoy, you're 29 kilometers out. They might not even be able to see the convoy. Where's that battleship at? Still 75 clicks out. Just move here, eventually. Ow! Fire and flooding, lost an engine. That's a great start. This is what I meant. Start taking hits. Battle cruisers don't like that at all. Could I use my... Stop doing that. Could I use my DDs as sacrificial lambs, potentially? Could I make them target the DDs, I wonder? Because they seem to be hell-bent on sinking destroyers the moment that they spotted them. There. The woodpecker has been spotted. So does that mean that you're going to switch fire? Are you going to change your target? No, you are not. That's unfortunate. Because at this point, I don't really want to start trading with a battleship. At least not for an extended period of time, because he can take it, and I cannot. Identification 97, 98, 99, 100. What you got? What you got? The Grosser Kurfürsts. Hello. Why are you so accurate? Why are you so accurate? These are Mark 3s? You got a Stereo 5 and a Generation 2 radar. That's the same thing I have. Stereoscopic Rangefinder 5, Generation 2 radar. Are you... They're not that fast. Target chip size plus 324%. Okay. In reverse. 314%. Target fast speed, 27%. Okay. Definitely a bigger target, but it seems like we're not really reaping the benefits of that. Ah, heavy cruiser Scharnhorst is out here too. But we lost him. What's the range in those threes? 60... Oh, sorry, that's the eights. Uh, 7.3 kilometers. Right. Oh, this is their downfall. Lack of shells. They don't have the ammo. 282 shells can definitely be sufficient to take down the battlecruiser. Ooh, ow. But if I can survive with the battlecruiser long enough for them to reduce their shell count to none, and maybe bring in the Montagu, maybe there's hope. Good lord, you're far away. Very simple build. Main tower, secondary tower, a few secondaries, six-incher, 
fives, threes, and six eighteens. Less displacement, less speed, more armor, worse range finding. Reduced ammo for the guns. Ugh. Why? Yeah, the DD. The Blackwater at this point, because the Woodpecker has taken too much damage, is getting hit. By perks of the battle cruiser. Sorry, by the battleship, actually. How many shells do you have left there, Kerr first? Because it was 260 something, now it's 252. You fire every 60 seconds. Assuming you're broadside, you fire six shells every minute. That means that you're going to be out in 240 minutes. Ooh. <laughs> no, wait. 60 shells per sec or 60 shells per minute, give or take a few. Hmm. Yeah, so you do have shells for four hours. Okay. Ugh. These things really are glass cannons. I would like to keep the DDs for target practice for the heavy cruisers. But anything beyond that, my chance to get a torpedo in there with three heavy cruisers is la cluster. It's not happening. Three damaged engines on the Tiger. Good lord, those things hit hard. Again, I don't quite understand why. Why they're so accurate. They got a 2.6. I got a 1.8. What is your benefit? They have plus 70, 75% long range tech and tower. Oh. My bonus is far less. No, now it's back up. 75%. Okay, so that's not it. All stability and tower plus 28%. Their stability. Whoa, there we go. For the Grosse Kurfurs, their hull stability and tower is plus 75%. This thing is just very, very, very accurate. By the virtue of its structural integrity. And its tower. Not that my tower has taken any damage, it's just not a great tower. The German accuracy is simply superior. Still 200 shells left. It's going to take a long time. And it looks like the compartments that were hit were exactly the engineering compartments. So that means I will not likely be getting those engines back anytime soon. So I can limp around at five knots. Ugh, no. No, that's terrible. That is really, really terrible. Now, there's a potential that I would win this fight, but it would be very, very long-winded. They're still shelling me, although limited. And one thing I don't quite understand is that the game says the enemy will never retreat. Well, maybe. But they're definitely not coming closer to my ships. Which, if the objective of the German fleet is to sink my transports, they first have to get to the battle cruiser, and then they have to another 30 kilometers to do before they get to the transports themselves. So I'd say the convoy is fine. They can still see me too. Hmm. I wonder if it's possible to do a completely different tactic on this one. To go with a super fast battle cruiser, maxing out your speed as best I can, and then going with a ship that just charges in and drops a bunch of torpedoes at the enemy battleship. That might work. Montague is still 60 clicks out. Yeah, this is going to take forever. And I have to sink them within five hours. Sure enough, the Montague will get here inside of five hours, but 
I'm afraid that the Germans are going to be difficult to catch up with. The ship is doing its level best to catch up at 26 and a half. But I think their battleship was doing something similar. So, that means this is not really going to go that well. It's not really going to go that well. Okay, let's change tactics. Rebuild the ship. New design. How fast can you be? 44 knots, I'll take it. Uh, I don't need accuracy where I'm going. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that weighs 175 tons. As opposed to 1600 tons is what I was using previous. Okay, lovely. Armor scheme. Turbines. Anti-torp. Nah. Citadel. Yes, please. Anti-flood. All of it. Reinforced bulkheads. Forced boilers. Shaft 2. Aux 3. We're going to need to get there fast. How many funnels would be sufficient? Three of them. There. 100% engine efficiency. Uh, the weight can go up. I don't like the way that the towers are positioned. That's fine. I can put that there. I can put that here. Uh, they do require two main guns. All right. I see your gun request and I raise you two nine inches. And then I have a pretty hefty four weight offset. Not to worry. Point 0.9, one. There. Okay. Uh, barbette armor. Yeah, some of it. But what I really want to work with are torp. Torps? Underwater torps? Oh. That is not great. And they're. Oh, they're terrible as well. Okay, fine. How am I going to make this work? If I can go heavy shells, and instead of using 9 inches, I use something way shorter ranged. Or way, way, well, way bigger, not necessarily shorter ranged. Like 12s. They're Mark V. So they've got the best reload they can have. This would allow me to start penning the ship at 20 kilometers. If I, well, no, not, not quite. More like 10. 10 kilometers likely. Alright, so a couple of 12s. Medium superimposed barbette. Can you fit? Yeah, you can. Okay, and you sit over there, and you go over there. I want to have hand-cranked turrets, but also loaders. And fix the aft weight offset. Bring these things a bit closer. Bring this closer. Bring this closer. Shift that to... Oh. To here? No, I don't want to have it inside the deck, if you don't mind. Shift forward. Forward, forward, forward. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. There you go. We can shift this one back. Now my superstructure's too heavy. Just work with me here, turret. Come on. No, this thing has to go farther back. Then this can sit over there. What are you complaining about? Oh, you're not. Okay, shift back. A lot. Why is my front so heavy? The bow is way too heavy. I can accept a few percentage points, like 0.5 is fine, but I'm not going to go into battle with a ship that has 12% front weight offset. That's terrible. Alright. Um, where we're going, we don't need deck armor. 
because I don't expend or expect to spend a lot of time inside that zone. This is probably a very elegant and expensive way to commit suicide with a ship. But I'm eager to test. 13.5. Turrets are going to need a buff. 9 inches is a bit much. Conning Tower is going to need a touch more. Eleven five, fine. Effectively, I have 20 inches of belt armor and 26 armor, inches of belt extended armor. I have no secondaries, nor do I feel inclined to bring any. Oh, the belt's too heavy. There. Point four. Gonna shift something. Point two. Point one. Excellent. Okay then. What the hell? Here. This weird device, the how, is gonna try and charge directly at the enemy, delivering damage, ideally, with heavy shells. Propelled by high TNT, although Lidite at that range would be highly amusing. Highly amusing indeed. Whatever. Battle cruisers are born to blow up, so let's make sure it blows up properly by propelling the shells with Lidite. Alright, here we go. The How. Ready for launch. 44 knots, turning circle of a small moon. 1809 meters. And so far you can trust that, because I generally don't. We have the Redoubtable, which is never going to get here, as it's even slower than the previous design. It's 19 knots. It turns, supposedly, in one-fifth of the time that it takes my battlecruiser to turn. Um, it has almost no mains. It just has six 18s, same as the previous ship. Couple of seven, well, one set of sevens and a bunch of fours. My DDs, Porpoise and Sturgeon. Maximum bulkheads, same short range torpedoes. Not great. And they're actually slower than the battlecruiser. This is fine. We're going to blow up their uh, heavy cruisers first on the way towards the battleship because my chance to hit the battleship. Well, actually, switch fire to the battleship. It is a bigger target. I might be able to hit that. 1.3? Are you that far away? Yeah, you're 19 clicks versus 12. That's probably not helping. Own ship speed? 44 knots. Maximum speed for the battlecruiser. Have I been hit? Yeah. Oh. They're murdering my destroyers. Don't do that. I might need those as a distraction. I mean, more so than I'm currently using them as. I think that with this level of armor, I am pretty untouchable by the heavy cruisers. It's going to depend on whether, yeah, they have torpedo launchers. One, two, three launch. Three? Three sets. Quad, triple, quad. That's a lot of torps. Potential. Lovely. So we're going to have to do dodging with a ship that has a turning circle of a moon. I don't see that going down very well. Let's at least try to sink them as quickly as possible, so I don't have to dodge that many torps. Come on. Is that it? At 5.9 kilometers, that was a mid-deck pen? How? I'm firing almost flat out. <laughs> How am I hitting their deck? Uh, fine. Okay, uh, continue to zigzag. Because I am pretty confident that the torps are already in the water. Nothing. 
Okay. So we went from glass cannon to super speedy tank, <laughs> if you will. The Admiral Shear. Minus 73% visibility on the torpedoes. Oh dear. Hard to port. Maximum course correction. Chance to pen is 30%. All right. 53 on the Irene. And the steer, 53.7. Unfortunately, the ship probably will turn faster than her turrets. Because I kind of cheapened out on getting the turret rotation buffed. There are the torps. Oh dear. And this thing does not have a torpedo blister. Oh. And my rudder is stuck. Welcome to Murphy's Law for Battle Cruisers. Oh, and I didn't... <laughs> I didn't upgrade the amount of bulkheads. Yeah. There are some things that are not right with this design. There are many things that are not right with this design, actually. But what I do not get is why I'm having so much trouble dealing damage to a heavy cruiser. It has 7.8 inches of armor, plus 98, so let's just say it's double. It's slightly under 16 inches. And that means that at a range of 6, yeah, sure, flash fire, why don't you? Um, I can pen 20 inches of armor. So, uh, their belt, sure, if it's angled, it could be problematic. If it's not angled, it should be fairly easy. Let's try this again. Because I think it can be done, just not the way that I was maneuvering the ship. New attempts. Load the high explosive. Check out the battleship. She has six 16 inches, Fairly similar in design. The heavy cruisers. Torps. Torp torps. Yikes. Those have to go first. My battleship this time around is the Majestic, operating at 19 knots, at 13 inch guns. And you're supposed to be the cavalry. Right. Might as well not be there. 29 knots, torpedoes, 18 inch, but they're better range. Okay. Formation normal, follow the battle cruiser, please. Zebra and Jed. Alright, considering the amount of torpedo tubes that these things have, I think it's a bit more prudent to try and keep them at bay. And then zigzag at 14, 15 kilometers. So that I'm going to make myself more difficult as a torpedo target. Not impossible, just more difficult. Because if they really really want to, they save those torps for when I get close. I just need to ID them to see what sort of torpedoes they have. And, of course, to see when they have launched them. 1% chance to hit. Fantastic. Red remit ships, turn back to port. Range, 13 clicks. Fifty percent ID? No, they're not battle cruisers. Ah, they spotted the zebra, or zebra. But what's their conclusion? They're not going to go for the zebra just yet. Ten clicks out. Oh, that's close enough. Can we pretty please do some damage with twelve-inch high explosive super heavy, or not super heavy, but at least heavy shells? That's it. Okay. It's uh, underwhelming. 5% chance to hit, though. 89%, 91% ID. We're getting somewhere. I appear to be on fire. 
99 there. That's a lot of different weapon systems. Torpedoes up to 12.9, 37 knots. Which means I am faster than your torpedoes. Not necessarily strictly safe from them. But at least I can outrun them. If I understand, or if I see that they get launched. If I get enough window opportunity. Destroy torpedo launcher. That's a great start. Let's continue our light zigzag pattern. Also making it more difficult for their battleship to shoot me to bits. Come on, Irene. The Irene can do 33 knots. Hold on. Does that mean I can just go in a straight line and ignore the heavy cruisers? Save your ammo. Although, once I get into full range of the battleship, I'll probably not need too many shells because I'll probably not live long enough. What if we try to hit the Mecklenburg? We're pretty, pretty confident about a hit there. Or at least about damage. Ranging shots. 2.1%. Accuracy looks decent. If I pen... I'm probably going to do a decent amount of damage. We're looking at pretty much deck penetration here. At this angle, the shells should start coming in slightly diagonally. There we go. Still, their battleship should be chasing down my convoy, and it's doing the exact opposite. It's not moving in, it's moving out. At a speed of 29 knots. 58,500 tons, no torpedo launchers. Very nice. 16 inch guns, an armor belt of 12.7 plus 108. So let's say about 24 inches, no, sorry, about 26 inches of armor. Um, I can pen that. Don't worry, I can pen that. I just have to be two and a half kilometers away. Anti-torpedo blister? All of it! <laughs> okay. Fair. Uh, you're not supposed to carry that much torpedo blister, sir. Because I was hoping, rather, to torpedo you. So, you having all the torpedo protection that you can... ...is not helping me achieve my objective. So, would you kindly shed some of your torpedo blister? Mecklenburg is flooding. How many shells you got? 450. That one's not going to run out of shells. Uh, they only got six of those. Yeah. Yeah, they only got six guns. I can hit that far. Standard complement of shells. Could have fooled me. Whoa, Mecklenburg completely dry. All right. Not quite what I was expecting. Can we flood him again, maybe? Oh, 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 hold on. Irene just launched her torps. Switch fire to the Irene. Because the Mecklenburg is slightly farther away. We can get a bit more accuracy on the Irene now. But not nearly as much pen as I would like. Oh, ow. That was the 16-inch from the battleship. Crap. How good are you guys at detecting? Sonar 2. Great. It's like I'm stuck with a tech disadvantage. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but it feels like I have a tech disadvantage. Let's see, your torpedoes run for, officially, 12.9 kilometers. You launch them from about there ish so they should still be coming in the issue is i'll not be able to tell what are you shooting oh the dds that's fine they don't have to survive it's 
Some damage to the Irene, some damage to the Mecklenburg, but nothing critical. The Hansa and the Mecklenburg have not yet launched their torpedoes. Very well. What's my chance to... Oh, no. 9%? At 20 kilometers? What sort of a monster deck armor do you have? Six and a half? And I can't pan that at 20 clicks. Oh. I can pen only 6.9 inch. Good lord. And this thing probably has a... Uh, yeah, that, that has the buff of 108. <sighs> yeah, that's not gonna fly. Trying to plunge fire into their deck? Mm-mm. Ship is too heavily armored. All right, let's go directly for the Niza now. It's probably gonna hurt, but I'm gonna try and get there. What's your chance to pen me? Negligible. Switch fire to the nice now, load the high explosive, and see if you can burn down some parts of that ship. This burn damage over time ticks up. Over time it could... could be deadly. Just give me a while. Current speed, 42.4 out of 42 knots. Range, 16.6, 16.5, 16.4. We are once again on fire. Irene's still loading her torps. Hansa's probably not even going to consider launching the torps because I'm too fast. Nice now 15 clicks. Chance to pen is going up. But it's still about 1 in 10. A little better than 1 in 10. Three point four percent chance to hit, three point one for them, but they have sixteen inch guns and I have mere twelves. Come on, nice now. Don't go anywhere. I just want to see if I can get into range and then see how much damage I can expect to do. Oh, you launched torps again. Don't do that. There's a fire on her stern. A whole 2.6 points of damage. Look at that. Five clicks out. And at, even at five clicks, I'm struggling to do damage against a heavy cruiser. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm only using 12-inch guns, but come on. It's a heavy cruiser. It's not... It's not a battleship. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not gonna go well. 13 clicks. I need to get in there. Because these guys probably... Yeah, Sonar 3. They're going to see those torpedoes the moment I launch them. Especially with fasts. Maybe going with main guns and firepower is not the right upgrade for this particular ship. This build that I'm running with. Cease fire. You're not going to pen that. Are they going to pen us? 60%? <laughs> yes. Yes, they will. And it should be dropping. It's not dropping. Ricochet angle is high. Well, they do seem to have trouble to hit me. Why is it not going down? Because the closer I get, the more likely it is for them to hit my belt armor. And especially the extended belt is the one that I'm banking on. There we go. It's dropping. Does not mean that they cannot go through the turret faces. Because my turrets are not nearly as well armored. They're only 9 inch. The belt extended at 13. They're gonna... Well... I say they're gonna struggle. I got a bonus of 100, so I got a 26 inch armor belt. And they can pen that now. And they could pen that about 20 minutes ago. Speed reduced to 31 knots. 
fire. Auto select. I want to see what sort of shells the game selects. Wow, we did some damage. Not great. Come here, Niza now. Come here. I got some presents to deliver. Oh crap, at some point I'm not going to be able to cap keep up with it anymore. Let me guess. 29.4, you're doing top speed. Okay. I definitely cannot keep up with that. I'm currently able to do it. I'm still doing 34 knots. If I start turning, that number starts going down. If I start taking a hit through the bow, that number's going to start going down fast. Because I'll not be able to get rid of the flooding fast. And I will flood. Nice and now. Chance to pen 40% but dropping. Everything ricocheted. Come here, Niza now. We still have some fires, but it's really not serious. There is one good thing that's happening. Their bow guns are almost out of angle. Doink. Oh, destroyed main gun. I am happy that that did not flood me. Their main guns cannot really shoot me anymore. Or at least not... Well, except for the stern. Best speed. Come on. Chance to pen is still sub 25%. Turn. Turn will cost me speed. Turn. Maximum speed 30 knots. Maximum speed on the nice now is 26 knots after taking some damage. Well, it's not necessarily their maximum speed, but that's the speed they're running at. I'm probably going to pass behind them and then see if I can catch them with the port side torpedo launchers. The DDs uh, <laughs> are really of no consequence whatsoever. Come on, buddy. This one's all you. With whatever firepower you seem to have left. Which is not a lot. I could probably save some weight by going without the stern batteries. Just bow only. Nice now. 26 knots. Own speed holding at 30. She is running low on ammo. She has 166 left. Oh, potential, potential. She turns fast. 561. That's not something that How can keep up with. I think. Double or nothing. Prepare the torpedoes. Nyza now is slowly but steadily succumbing to high explosive damage. But this... This is where I will start to take damage. Because now I'm broadside. Now my belt cannot protect me. Fortunately, they did just fire. Torpedoes! Oh, the angle is terrible. Torpedoes away! Torpedoes away! We're gonna get one, two, three, four hits. One. Oh, that barely does anything. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's all the hits. All the torps hit. Their engines are all out. Their rudder is out. Their guns are functional. What's your chance to pen? Oh, still good enough. And increasing. Nice and now will not flood. But neither will she go anywhere particularly quickly. Oh, there goes the zebra. This is where my, tr my turning circle is going to kill me. 93 shells. They got 132. The old trick of waiting until they run out is probably not going to work here. 
Speed. Still, I can do 26. What sort of propulsion do you have? Gear turbines. That's not going to go fast. Oh, there goes another engine. And flooding. I am in deep trouble here. I might be able to coast for as long as I can, but even then... Even then, I probably won't live long enough to deliver the rest of my torps. At this point, I will not get a second attempt, so let's just torp, even if it is at 4 kilometers. Because now also my rudder is out. Or heavily damaged. And I'm out of shells. Torp it if you have it. Because I lose the battle cruiser and I lose the game. Come on. Torps away. The Nysa now detects the torpedoes. But with three damaged engines and one damaged rudder. Good luck on the dodge. She's slowly turning to port. Uh, that could be fast enough. Oh. They're going to miss. Jeez, even with a damaged rudder, she's still able to outturn those. Because she got enough warning. And now the Irene and the Hansa and the Mecklenburg are going to come in. And they don't seem friendly. All the Howe can do is just sit here and wait. I might be able to just piss off one more heavy cruiser by killing it with torps. The Irene thankfully is out of tor- Oh, not so much out of torpedoes. Yeah, that's the end of the Howe. 0.6% structural integrity. Can we at least return the favor? With these very limited arcs on the torpedo launchers, we have to go full broadside. Torpedoes away. Whatever's left, anyway. Yeah, the house sinks. Oh, uh, that hurt. Yeah. This mission is, I think, pretty RNG dependent. Because you're looking at a randomized torpedo blister and a randomized bulkheads, I think, for the enemy. So those two factors are going to be very important when you're trying to build a ship like I did. Like a fast torpedo delivery platform. Nevertheless, no joy. Let me know what you guys think I should be building and I'll try this thing in a bit later. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon for more videos.